Hey YouTube, this is EnjoyAlex2539. Got another review. And this is a stereo skateboard review. And I've been riding it a couple days. It's got a stereo board, a uh, Clint Peterson Obey collaboration, size 8. You know, it says Obey Records and little logo, Obey logo on top. If you know the company Obey. If you go to Zoomies, then you probably do, but. It's got crux trucks, break the wheels, bone source bearings, just up mob grip. I had a fixed grip, so that's why. And this board has great pop, great con good concave. It's really easy to flip. The graphic, pretty durable. It, just, it smudges. It does, you know, if you know what I'm talking about, the graphic. So it's pretty durable. This is here's the stereo logo right here. It's kind of hard to see it now, but whatever. Uh, let me see. Stereo was started in 1992 by Jason Lee and Chris Pastures, I think. And hey, yeah, listen up, Bone Swiss. They're nice, but um. It's been quality skateboards right here, uh, and they're not even that marketed, even though they do sponsor the Barracks, and they're featured in Skate 3. They're not really, like, you know, highly marketed like other companies. they got, like, a color ply, like, black, and then the top ply is red. Yeah, I've been using this a couple days, three days now, I think. And this has been a great board. And I'm pretty sure this is the first stereo skateboard review on YouTube. So I'm going to try to talk about this as much as I can. And I want to highly recommend this. And stereo is owned by Stereo uh, Sound Agency Distribution because it has its own distribution. They also own Hi Fi Wheels. And they great boards. I'm ha so happy I got this. I might get another one in the future. But, uh, I wanted to show you something else, but I forgot. Yeah, it says OBA Records, the design. It's got a couple, like, music notes here. I really like the design, though. It's got, like, all these, like, they look kind of like sound waves. And then, Clint Peterson. Yeah, I'm sizing down with my board, so my max one is probably going to be like a 7-8. This Obey logo. This is probably one of the best boards I've owned. Well, I know that they're some of my favorites also. This, uh, Stereo, Death Wish, Santa Cruz. Uh, there are a couple others. But yeah, this is pretty much it. This is a great board. I highly recommend these. Here's my grip tape fixing. Because I'll... Yeah, whatever. I don't, I don't really want to go into detail with that. I just want to kind of tell you about the board. Since this is the first uh, stereo board review on YouTube. And if that is wrong, can you please correct me? And send me the video... Because, you know, I might want to see it, but I'm pretty sure this is for a stereo skateboard review on YouTube. Um, yeah, both my friend and I noticed that this board is really easy for, like, flipping. Like, doing stuff like kick flips, heel flips, burials, you know, that kind of stuff. Hospital flips, lots of stuff. And... This board has a lot of pop. I didn't even expect it to have that much pop. More than my others. More than a lot of my others. And it's a really durable board. I've noticed. Unlike my chocolate. Which was probably one of my weakest boards yet. And my enjoy. Which was a little durable. A little weak. You know. And. Concave is pretty nice on this. Actually, I could just say, you know, it's, it's got standard concave, that's good. Try to get some of that 
Gird off. And as I said before, the graphic doesn't chip off, it smudges. It, you know, like that. What it is right now. And the graphic's more durable than, like, my creature, which is, like, right here. And I put my I put my ventures and hubbas on it because I'm making a backup complete. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to replace these hubbas because I don't like them. The ventures I don't like them, but I'm going to be using them. I'm just glad I switched out the bushings for like dodos. So pretty much, it's not that good of a complete, except for the creature. And I I'm planning on getting some like shock pads for this. Like, I guess not. I thought it was a stress crack, but it's not really stress cracking yet. Yeah. Right here, I've been doing a couple tail. I did a couple tail grinds the other day, uh, tail slides the other day, and it it just like smudged. Like I was saying, it wasn't even that bad. And I've been grinding with this a lot, and this is the worst that's happened so far. That's great. You know? So, I highly recommend this stereo. Great pop. Great concave. Uh, great, uh, good for flipping. Strong graphic. Plus, it's not that market of a company, and that's what I really like. That's probably one of the biggest things that I like about stereo. So, yeah, pretty much. So, there you go, my stereo. So, um, comment, rate, subscribe, post more videos.